Hey what's up you guys, it's Julia, hope all is well and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day because tonight I'm going to the Chris and Leanne and Urban Decay launch party and I cannot believe I'm going. I'm so excited so if I seem a little nervous in this video slash tutorial um, that's probably why. So on Instagram I asked you guys if you wanted to see how it created this red smoky eye and you said hell yeah so without further ado let's get started. So I'm first going to be starting out with the eyes just in case if I get any um, crazy fallout or anything and I've already primed my eyelid with MAC soft ochre paint pot and I set it with a powder that is the same shade as my skin tone. So I'm first going to be taking some of this Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Whiteout because I'm going to be using this as a base for the red so that um, the red really sticks onto it and lasts a really long time and so that it doesn't get patchy because reds tend to get patchy almost because it's such a hard shade to make. So I'm going to take a little bit of that white um, concealer on a Anastasia A27 brush which is like a flat like cream eye product brush and I'm going to just focus this right like the um, I'm going to focus this right on the lash line the most and then I'm going to blend it up So I'm making it more um, opaque at the base of my lash line and then I'm kind of feathering it up so that we get like a nice gradient. I'm going to take a little bit more and really make sure that it's nice and sticky here. And I kind of want to wing, um, like smoke it out. So I'm going to take a little bit on the outer corner. And on this Urban Decay brush that just came in the palette, I'm going to take a little bit of that white again and put it on my lower lash line. And kind of wing it out just a little bit. And really making sure that it's nice and even and blended. I'm just gonna go over it. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Love Plus by Sugar Pill on a Smith 253 brush, which is a flat shading brush. And I'm going to really pack that into the brush. And then I'm going to just pat it like this so that the pigment really gets into that. Um, concealer that we put down because if we just like um, blend it like 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 this it will just um, like become patchy and uneven and I'm going to kind of swipe as I get into the crease just so that um, I'll be able to get that blend or later on when I add like the darker red but I'm really making sure to pat it on the lid itself. Um, please stop honking, thank you. Now on a Sigma E30 brush, it's like a pointed small brush, I'm going to be taking that Love Plus shade and putting that on the lower lash line. You're probably looking at this and being like, this chick is crazy, she doesn't know how to do makeup, but I swear it's going to turn out, okay? So I'm really making sure that it's nice and pigmented. And I'm bringing it quite low on the lower lash line because I want it to be super smoky. Now on a, where's my brush, on this Anastasia A25 brush, I'm going to be going into the Urban Decay um, heat palette. I'm going to be taking this shade off Fuego 
right here, which is like a deep red. And I'm going to bring that into the crease. sure to blend that out though I just dipped in the wrong shade good thing I caught myself there and then I'm going to also take that on the lower lash line a little bit I should have probably switched my brush because this is a little bit too big but I'm going to accept my challenge <laughs> Smith 232 brush. Look how much I use this brush. You can hardly see the name on it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a low blow in the heat palette and dusting off a lot so then and then just adding that into the crease as like a transitional shade just to make sure that blend is really nice and smooth. And then I'm going to be taking sauced Really making sure it's a nice gradient. And I'm going to be going back with that Love Plus shade by Sugar Pill on the Smith 253 brush again and just packing on that shade one more time. And bringing it up. And then I'm going to take that Anastasia um, fluffy brush and I'm going to be taking Love Plus a little bit and then I'm going to just blend over that. Fuego shade from the heat palette. Just pack on more if you see any patchiness or anything. For the inner corner highlight, I'm using um, a Makeup Geek Shadow Shima Shima. This is my favorite inner corner highlight. It just like, it's so perfect. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of that. And then making sure that it's not too much. I just thought it wasn't recording for a second. I was going to have a freak out. <laughs> Um, on top of that shimmer shimmer shade, I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy and just popping that in the innermost part here, just for a little bit of something extra. I just went ahead and threw on some uh, lashes and mascara. The lashes I'm wearing are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights and this is the eye look. Now moving on to the face. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect one, and I'm in the shade Nude. Just, I have some on a palette here. I'm so excited and I'm so nervous for tonight. I It was actually so weird. When I was in Hawaii with my parents over Christmas, I had this dream that me and my mom were at this Urban Decay, like it was specific, Urban Decay launch party and there was a tattoo artist there and I decided to get like a little tattoo and the, like this is, and the tattoo artist um, completely messed up my tattoo and I woke up like in, kind of in a panic and then um, so like five minutes after waking up I got an email from Urban Decay saying you're invited to the Kristen Leanne launch party in Vancouver and then specifically it said Kristen's something like Kristen's tattoos and body like 
Urban Decay, something like that. And I was like, I'm a psychic. I'm a psychic. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I ran downstairs. I was like, Mom, can you believe it? Like, I, I just like, my words would not come out fast enough. And my mom's like, okay, okay. But, yeah. So, I'm so excited. And I... I just don't even know what to think of that. And that happened to me before, like I said um, in a previous video, I think it was for when like the subculture video that I did came out or something, that um, that that I had a dream beforehand from that I got like on the PR, PR list for um, Anastasia and that happened the next day. So I'm like, I don't know what to think of that. <laughs> So I'm trying out this um, foundation, and I usually go for more of a, like a dewy finish. Like my favorite foundation is the L'Oreal Pro Glow, but I do really like this one. I just um, I like the coverage of it, and I like the look of it on my skin. I just um, I douse it with some Max Fi Mac Fix Plus just to uh, make it a little more dewy. For my bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Tarte uh, Park Ave Princess. Uh, very loved by me, obviously. My face is looking a little bit too matte for my liking, so I'm going to be taking some Fix Plus and just drowning myself in it a little bit. <laughs> for my glow, I'm going to be taking the sun dipped color. I put in a bunch of shades in there so it'd be easier for travel, but I'm going to be taking the shade Moonstone from the sun dipped palette. For my blush, I'm going to be using this um, MAC Modern Mandarin, and I'm going to be using that on a Bobbi Brown Face Blender brush, tapping that excess off. I'm putting some on my nose. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I think it looks cute. My teacher at school is like, don't do that, you'll look sick, and I'm like, a cute sick. And for my lips, I'm not really sure if what I really want to do. Um, I'm really tempted to use Fenty, but I use that almost every day, so, or maybe, okay, yeah, I'm gonna layer <laughs> a lipstick and then layer Fenty on top. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Bite Beauty um, Cashew Multi-Stick, it's a really pretty shade, one of my favorites. I'm just going to put that on lightly. I'm just going to stay nude too because uh, the eyes are a little, a little bit intense so I didn't want it to be too much. I'm taking the Fenty Gloss Bomb and layering that on top. And that's it from me you guys if you want to see how my night goes you can add me on snapchat and follow me on instagram because i'm sure i'll be posting a bunch of stories <laughs> thank you so much for watching and if you have any recommendations on what you would like to see next you can leave them down below i'll also leave all the products i used in this video down below as well and um yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one bye